Right, another video on Poco Loco F1. Right, and this is uh, 2018-2018. Until now, still survive the edus. Only mod that I do to it, I change the battery to 5,000 milliampere hour. But compared to the newer chip, the SOC, the latest SOC, this uh, 845 not an energy efficient, not very efficient. Compared to 855, 855 even better using less energy than this 845. Right, the 870 even better, 865, 870 less battery usage more performance more customizable on the GPU section you can overclock the GPU on the H65 it easily can beat the H Gen 1 trust me the H65 and also power efficient this two chip H65 H70 is the best at the moment right let's begin okay on this video I'm going to test a few game the effect of the GPU driver to the game especially emulator pengaruh GPU driver kepada emulator ataupun mana-mana game Android bagaimana ia mengubah cara GPU tu berfungsi driver Okay, hold on. Okay, this is Android 13, but the actual Android are Android 10. Only the system are using the Android 13. All the drivers still Android 10, especially the the library, the dynamic library driver in this uh, vendor. Still using the old vendor, Android 10 vendor. But it's not the problem on uh, Snapdragon compared to MediaTek. The UI are Android 13, but the dynamic library driver inside the library and library 64 the dot os file that uh, dynamic library the driver for the hardware to work properly okay the driver on this device i'm disabled all disabled you will see the impact of the driver on the game and one more thing the thermal file on this device already removed okay we test the table make right tree this one any setting will do whatever setting because the game already perfect only on some game 
it's a bit choosy on the setting this one okay. you will see the FPS this is the stock driver from the system itself if you are using MIUI maybe, maybe same FPS maybe or less Too bright. Terrible, my cry. Sixty over here. Wait, wait. When we are inside the game. Watch the movement. Thirty. Forty. Thirty. Thirty plus. What's the ABS? Let's see plus, okay? We use the XNS driver. If your device is still a stock device, not yet rooted, so your only option over here. This side. Use the 615, 611, 615. This is one. It may improve the performance. Or it will improve the performance. Especially on this 845 on higher end device not so much improvement because this one is a uh, older under 10 source code look at fps you see if you want more fps i will show you how FPS in 4 over here see down here the FPS only on CR droid you got this one <laughs> on MIUI maybe you can use the game to go 60 50 30 plus 30 plus drop oh 60 now a bit faster you see just changing the driver 615 get all on How about the temperature? CPU around here.
Kodi. At the back maybe 41. This is the ambient temperature. The surrounding the CPU temperature. More accurate, you can read the CPU temperature from the sensor. But that one, the temperature may be high. To do that, also on this uh, CR droid CPU info. See the temperature on the sensor? 71 degree Celsius. Ambient temperature. You don't worry about this, this uh, temperature. This is at the sensor inside the CPU, but the CPU got the heat sink. If your heat sink, the thermal pass between the CPU and the heat pipe, because this POCO got a heat pipe, if the thermal pass dry, then be careful. From time to time, you need to change the thermal pass. This is important get a CPU, the CPU, a uh, computer CPU inside the screen tube, that one much better, but a bit expensive, this one really cheap, 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 see the temperature 73 degrees, so you will be scared to look at that, better off it, this is the ambient temperature, only two. We are using the XNS Cyber 615. How about the module driver? After this, I will test another game how the driver affect the performance. Before that, Disable this uh, driver first. Unuse. For unrooted device, you can use any of this driver, but it's not stable. You will get false close often. Remember that. Okay, my driver. 615 or Tenip. This one 615 Mesa Tenip version forgot oh version 1. After you enable to install the driver, also easy. Install from storage. Remember to use Magis module with Magis. Don't flash the driver via TWRP. That one permanently replace your original driver. On this Magis, it's just a patch. A patch is different. Patch, you know, patch. You patch it. You don't want it. You remove it. That's important. Very easy. Remove the driver. Let it flash and then good all right already reboot let's see the driver six one five this one uh, compiled by uh, known gamer by loss if you follow him you can follow him on twitter discord right let's see the 615 magis module and tech and s driver which one better no driver To use the Magic Space Driver, the module, unlock the bootloader, 
root your device, install Magis, and get the GPU driver, the module. Constant 60 FPS. That's the driver different with the module and the XNS driver. Fifty plus, almost sixty. Now, but we use the top mod. We'll drop. Full SD going down and hell and hell seven twenty P All right Check. still running at the background. Super Mario Eh, not Super Mario, sorry, sorry Mario Kart 8 Hey, where are you? Yeah Okay, this game will crash a lot on 615 It will crash To avoid the crash and have to change the driver again. <laughs> a bit tedious what to do. Disable this 615 and enable the turnip. I'm changing the driver to turnip. Have to restart the pawn every time you change the driver, otherwise, it will not affect. Right after the starting, you can check whether it is enable, signal on pipe disable, mesa disable, and turnip are enable. Alright, Mario Kart 8. Game setting, any setting will do whatever setting, this is the default setting set by the emulator, this motion you can disable it, pretty useless on this device, on this game not device, sorry. Tunip on Mario Kart 615 will crash the game a lot. On Tunip, it more stable. FPS over here. Temperature. This one will scare you a lot. It will. 
reach 100 maybe. <laughs> Wait. Try the gate first. first. Okay, hold on. Uh, I think it's to need version one, I mean. One of them, for sure. But that one you can change anytime you like. Some of the game running better on Tonip, some post close on Tonip, some on 615, some on 530. So play around with the driver. Different game, different behavior, different shaders. Tip 40 plus, 50 ABS, 41, 42. Let's see the game crash or not. 37, I guess. On 6 on 5, this one will crash a lot. Thirty plus. See how smooth Poco F1. Plus almost forty. Bye bye. On 615, this one will crash. On the it doesn't crash. Thirty, almost forty APS. Huh? If you get fifteen APS, then wow, damn that one. Why? Uh oh. Uh oh. Stop. 
squid. Uh oh. Uh oh, yay, yay, yay. Tietysti plaas on omassa pottia. Crashing. Right, you know the trick. Same. Okay, other emulator. Let's say the either SX2. Will the driver affect the gameplay? Yes. Then also the driver. Only this uh, XNS driver any game this driver only for XNS. How about other emulator? How about other game? You can use this driver on other emulator that's why this is important just change the driver it will improve the performance of this SOC Snapdragon 845 temperature you don't worry 40 around 42 42 almost 43 ambient temperature not the CPU temperature right once again thank you for watching we'll be back with more requests and stay awesome